baseball game and just watching practice and just, you know, I mean, I set today up for all of y'all. I mean, it was, it was a perfect lob set up. Come to the baseball game, turn around, watch practice, good reporting. It's all right. Y'all missed opportunity, missed opportunity for the media. Media, zero. Opportunity presenter, one. All right, we're recording now that we can actually be serious. All right, seriousness, let's go. We've got to be serious. We're recording. All right, good evening, everyone. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it was good to get back on the practice field. Uh, you know, we had about a six day six day break. Uh, you know, from from practice, uh, you know, challenged our guys. Uh, you know, today really wanted to get after it. Uh, There's some good and some bad. There was there were moments where you could see. Uh, a little bit of the time off that uh, that jumped on them, and you know we we pushed and challenged, and that's where we have to continue to mature as a football team. Uh, that you know every day, every rep, regardless of what shows up, but we we've got to we got to max out the opportunity. And um, that was, I thought there were some really good you know flash plays that showed up. I think guys are getting better, um, you know, understanding technique, fundamentals, and things we're asking them to do uh, schematically. But um, you know, I just. I wanted better today, and uh, you know, don't want to say today is a bad day, but it was. It was. Uh, I wouldn't say it was our best effort either. Uh, so, so like I talked to the team there there afterwards. Uh, you know, it provides an opportunity for us to respond, but you know we don't get today back, and uh, we're we're pushing for for a a new standard. Um, you know it, that 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 standard of, of excellence in all aspects of how we operate. Um, you know that was. It wasn't consistent enough for for myself and um, you know, what I, what I what I'm hopeful to see out of this team, um, you know, especially coming off of a, a break where you, know, you you got you got a chance to go out there and, and continue to develop that identity. But um, all in all, we got some good situational work. Um, you know, it was there was some physicality that showed up throughout the course of practice, um, but we got to we have to continue to push. Did um, did you see any response during the practice in terms of uh, I imagine you were letting guys know that you weren't exactly thrilled from the beginning. Did you see anything change during the, the course of the practice? Well, I mean, I did. And it was, you know, when you look at big picture comparison to what we've done in the past to where we are now, I mean, it's it's much improved. But, you know, I, like I said, you know, our our standard needs to be the best that we possibly have every single rep. And um, there were just too many moments today with, you know, whether it was our body language, whether it was, you know, just, uh, you know, we're talking about you know, accelerating through the finish on every play. And I didn't see that consistently enough. Um, you know, there were some good, there were some really good plays that showed up on, on both sides of the ball. I thought the defense, uh, you know, it had moments of, of, you know, really, really good looking, um, you know, fits with, with all 11 guys, but you know, it just wasn't consistent play in play out to what, uh, you know, what I want our standard to be, what I want our identity to be. And so, um, yes, there were, there were positive moments. Yes, there were positive response, but you know, we want, we want to be consistent. And the only way that you get consistent is you gotta, you have to practice consistency. It's got to show up regardless how you're feeling, regardless of, of the emotion uh, of what you're going through. You know, you got to, you got to go play and you got to give everything that you have, uh, you're focusing on those details and, and you have an opportunity to grow. So yes, to answer your question, there was, there was a response. Um, yes, it's better than probably majority of the, of, of the things that, that we've done up until this point, uh, you know, this past year, but you know, for our standard of, uh, and expectation, you know, I want better. Mike, with the spring game coming up uh, this this weekend, I, I, can you go over the format? I guess it's going to be like good on good, then two versus twos. Do you do a team draft? And then um, anything other? It looked like it was, I guess, two quarters of plays. Is there anything else kind of going on inside the game? There is. I mean, you know, this year we, we're going to we're going to keep it basically offense defense. Um, you know, throughout for two quarters. Um, you know, just we have some injuries. We're a little thin at some positions that would make it. Uh, extremely challenging to break up into two teams. So uh, we're going to continue to get work I and mean, there'll be some situation, there'll be some, uh, some special teams work, but uh, we're going to, we're going to you know, play it basically for the, for our first half. And then uh, uh, we're going to wrap it up with a grand finale. Got a couple of, uh, 
um, guest coaches that are, are going to come and, and you know, be a part, kind of adding a, a competitive, uh, competitive edge to to the uh, to the end of it. And uh, you know, I think it'll be a great experience, uh, you know, for our guys, for uh, um, you know, you know, all of Seminole family to be able to come and uh, you know, you pack into Doe Campbell and uh, you'll see our guys and, and the growth that we've had. And you know, you, it's going to be a tremendous opportunity to see some of these young players and, and new guys and, and, and old, experienced players to. to, to uh, go out there and show the growth that they've had and you can put on put that develop, development on display so um you know, looking forward to to saturday but you know we've got to have a lot of work uh, and you know a great practice come thursday um you know before that next would be matt baker from so following up on that what are kind of the biggest um areas of growth that you've seen so far you know i think we are a, a, a improved you know physical football team i mean our, our guys uh, you know, they, they're playing with better pad level. They're playing with better fundamentals. You know, uh, I know I've harped on today, you know, just the consistency, uh, you know, in the effort of what we're doing. And uh, I would say it's it's much improved, but, uh, you know, we're, we're still pushing to that standard we talk about. And, um, you know, I, I think in all aspects, our team is 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 believing in the in the, the process of growth. But, um, you know, they're also, you know, they're believing in the, in the fundamentals and the techniques to put themselves in the, in the best position. And so uh, I really have been pleased with that. I've been pleased with uh, you know, the application from what guys are learning in the meetings, you know, trying to, to uh, implement that out on the field. And, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen growth across the board, you know, and we, we have to be consistent with that because in, the, in this game, it just takes one play. And you never know when that one play is going to show up that's going to make the difference. And uh, that's, what we're working, that's what we're working on. Yeah, coach. Just how excited are you for the spring game? You and the players, especially considering uh, you didn't, you weren't able to have that opportunity a year ago. No, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for every for every practice we get. You know, it's one thing over the last this last year. You never take a day for granted. You never take an opportunity to. Um, you know, to, to go out there, whether it's a, a scrimmage, a, the spring game, you know, you know, anything that's that's in front of us, um, you know, it, it's it's definitely a, a great opportunity to to showcase our program, to showcase these young men. Um, you know, we talk about trying to trying to work to build the identity of what this uh, twenty one uh, in Florida State you know football team is going to be, and you know, we get to we get to show some of the uh, the positive steps that we've taken uh, in that direction, and you know. We, Definitely not a finished product. We're gonna have a great summer. We're gonna have a great, uh, uh, you know, you know, fall camp, you know, leading up to it. But uh, you know, it, each of these days and each of these reps are critical. And you know, tomorrow's meetings, Thursday's practice. You know, we're gonna push. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a real work day come Thursday. Um, and then you know, when Saturday gets here, we're gonna go out there and be be the best that we can possibly be and, and compete our butts off. Good evening, Mike. Um, do you guys feel like? that you are where you want to be at this point heading into the spring game, or do you feel like there's much more improvement that can be done? I mean, you know, anytime we get an opportunity to go out and practice, there's, there's an improvement that has to show up. It's, and that's something that, you know, our daily approach or our daily objective is to get better. To, to, to do that, you've got to, you've got to give all that you have and you've got to uh, go on with, with that pursuit of excellence. And, you know, I think for the majority of spring ball, I've seen that show up in good situations and in bad. Um, you know, our our guys are are developing that mentality. I think today, you know, I knew coming off of a a six day you know break, you know, it provided a uh, it provided a, an opportunity to to have those teachable moments. And you know, uh, sometimes you'll see you'll see teams that you know come out a little sluggish. You'll see your teams try and get back into the groove of it. And you know, it provides us an opportunity to push. So, um, and I, I like where we are. Um, you know, always want better. Always want to continue to uh, um, to to have that edge and continue to develop that edge for our improvement. And that's what we're working on. That should be Corey Park. Yeah, Mike. I, I was wondering about. I know you can't talk specifically about recruiting or recruits, but it sounds like you're gonna have a ton of dudes uh, at the game on Saturday. Is that something you would do at Memphis too? Is this um, is this something you've always kind of preached as getting as many guys on campus, or is that more because hey, man, you haven't been able to see any of these guys for a year? I'm really excited about everybody that's gonna be here at the game. Uh, you know, obviously we can't. It's uh, you know we can't be involved in any recruiting. Uh, activities uh, with it being a dead period but uh, you know there's a lot of excitement around the program right now and 
you know, to be able to to have to have a, uh, a spring game, to be able to uh, you know, have a couple of open practices you know, throughout the course of spring. It's uh, um, you know, it's one of the things that we always we, we always try to, to uh, you know attract you know just to, whether it's our fan base or or you know, people that want to see our our football program and, and some of that development and growth. Uh, you know, it's 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 definitely exciting that uh, uh, who we're going to have in the stands. And so um, I've done that throughout my coaching career. It's really one of the reasons that you know. Uh, in spring ball, you know, we practice in the afternoons. Um, you know, obviously this year with it being a dead period, you know, we've, we've not had, had the open practices. We've not had that, uh, you know, throughout the week, but one of the reasons I practice in the afternoons in the spring is to be able to allow, uh, you know, local, local prospects, coaches, you know, anybody that's, uh, uh, happens to be on, on breaks to be able to come by and, and, and see our guys work because, uh, you know, I, I love, I love how we, prepare. I love how we develop. I love that, you know, just the, you know, the way that we practice and, you know, when, when people are, are have the opportunity to see that, um, you know, they get a, they get a true sense of, of what's in front of them. And you know, like I said, unfortunately this year uh, with the dead period, we're not, we're not able to do that, but, uh, you know, I am excited for the opportunities of uh, you know, scrimmages that have been open and uh, in the spring game that's ahead for, for all that, that are coming to watch uh, your football team. I know you would have uh, competed against Coach Shannon when he was at UCF, um, but do you, did you get to know him at all during that time? And, and, and if you could kind of share some more insight into how this came to be uh, with him coming to join the uh, your staff. Uh, you know, Coach Shannon is a, is a, a coach that I got a tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, you, you look through, through the course of his career, um, you know, it's just – you know, he is a, he is a class human being, and a, you know I think an incredible coach in, in all aspects of what he does. Um, you know, with this with this year, you know having a, have an opportunity to be able to get him here, uh, you know as an analyst to be able to to work with our work with our coaches and to be able to add a uh, in a different perspective. Um, you know, in in on all aspects, uh, you know excited about what he brings to our staff. Uh, you know, like I said, it's it, you know. In, in all in all ways, you know, we talk about the fit. We talk about you know, what we're looking for, um, whether it's in recruiting or hiring coaches. And uh, you know, I believe Randy Shannon is is an is an incredible fit um, for 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 our staff. And he's I know he's excited about the role and being able to uh, you really see things from from an, an outside perspective, but with you know a day to day you know interaction with Coach Fuller and the defensive staff. Uh, I know I know Adam was was really excited about the opportunity to be able to get him here uh, as well as. Our defensive uh, defensive assistants and really our entire our entire team you know because uh, you know coach Shane has done a remarkable job throughout his career and yes we have competed against each other and uh, you know, like I said that that probably uh, you know, helps contribute to the to the respect that I have for him in, in, in all aspects but I didn't didn't really know him uh, personally uh, very well he had, you know he had come to Memphis one time um, you know uh, to, to watch a workout uh, when I was the head coach there, but you know, we didn't have a close relationship. Um, but uh, you know, this was something that we've been uh, discussing and I was just excited about being able to get it done. One more question about the spring game. Aside from coming out of it healthy, are there any things in particular that you really want to get out of it? You really want to see? Uh, I mean, just for guys to compete. To every all aspects, you know, I want to see eleven guys on defense working to play as one. You know, everybody uh, communicating. I want to see crisp, you know, sharp tempo, um, you know, in our operations. You know, I want to see guys, uh, you know, going out there and, and truly taking the, the fundamentals and techniques that we've been working on. You know, what will be the, the thirteen practices prior to see that apply. You know, there on Saturday night because you know that's 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 a big step in the growth. I mean, you can work fundamentals. You can. You can you have the lessons in the in the meeting rooms, but the application is critical. And then you know once those guys are able to apply what they learn, their the reaction to all all things that might show up, and whether it's the, the situational awareness, the the uh, you know different things that uh, you know, that could you know maybe be outside of their control in the moment, but for them to be able to to respond and uh, you'll know, be able to, to to play to their best of uh, to the best of their ability, uh, you know, out there in front of in front of fans in in, in a moment where there's going to be an intensity and an excitement. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to see that our guys compete and just the way they respond. You know, Coach, you talked a lot about it at the beginning of the, the interview today, but just the fact that you want this team to, to have been a, bit, a little bit better than they were today, uh, but you also talk about factoring the big picture. 
uh, of the growth that they've made. How important is it for you, I guess, just maybe not only as a coach, but just as a human being to, to keep perspective so that uh, you are on a kind of a level plane and, and, and not, you know, ride the highs and lows. Uh, you know, I, I, the focus on just our improvement daily, the, the focus on, you know, guys going out and giving all that they have, that's, that's, that's things that we can control. Um, you know, I'm excited about this team. I'm excited about the personnel that we have, your players, coaches, everybody involved. Um, you know, it, it's our choice of what we're willing to give. It's our choice of what we're willing to invest. And, and I just, and I want it all. And I want it as fast as we can possibly be to, for us to go out there to play with the best of our ability consistently. Uh, you'll play in and play out. Uh, you know, uh, we are still a young football team. You know, you, you look at, you, you look at what we had returning, you know, last year, I mean, it was no secret. You know, the, the, the youth, the freshman sophomore class was, was um, you know, as much as anybody in the country. Couple of that with adding some transfers, some some high school players that are coming in that uh, you know I think have a great opportunity to be able to help this team. You know we're still we're still kind of molding that identity, and you know for us to push, for us to go out there and, and demand us or demand this team, players, coaches involved to hit that standard. You know that's what that's what I'm looking for. Um, you know that is it's a daily challenge, but it's also so rewarding because you do see. You, you see those incremental steps. You see that you see the improvement. You see the growth. It might not be exactly where we want to be right now, but you know we're we're all pushing in the right direction, and and that that is what is is necessary for our program. And you know if we can do that and consistently show up, uh, you know I, I believe in what these guys can accomplish, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to, to watch them continue to grow. Like the IRA. Yeah, I was just wondering, last time uh, we were able to watch you guys, it seemed like some some of the guys who were getting closer to returning, like Bavion and Renardo and some other guys, I was wondering if, if having this time off helped in that regard, if, if any of those guys who have missed most of the spring were able to return it all for this last week. It, it, we Today was our best day in having guys back. You know, you know, Bavion, you know Bavion was full go. Um, you know, Migo Dodson got to, got a chance to get some, uh, you know, seven on seven work and you know, he's kind of been, been limited throughout the course of the spring. Uh, you know, Jordan Wilson is a, is a young man that, uh, you know, I'm excited about the, the progress that he's making just in his rehabilitation and on all aspects of what he's doing, you know, see him out there running around, um, you know, catching balls, running routes. It's a, it's, it, you know, we've limited him a little bit from the contact uh, aspect of it, but you know, really excited what he, about what he's going to bring. And, um, you know, we did have a good group of guys that, uh, that were able to return today. And, uh, you know, that, that helps our, that, that helps continue to build that cotton continuity and the competition at each position. But, uh, it's, it's part of spring as well. You know, there's going to be, there's going to be days that, uh, um, you know, guys available and guys that, that are not, but, um, you know, today was definitely a good day to see a lot of, a lot of those guys come back and get some of that work. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day.